name is Matthew Shesby. I'm a partner at Cho, Shesby, Chung, and Ignacio, a general practice law firm with offices in Los Angeles, Rancho Cucamonga, and Corona. We handle all different areas of law. I am the partner in charge of the Family Law, Probate, and Conservatorships Department. We also handle bankruptcy, civil litigation, real estate law, employment law, and criminal. We formed Cho, Shesby, Chung, and Ignacio with the idea of creating a partnership that dealt with all different areas of law. Uh, dealing with having clients come in when they have one issue, handling their issue, and then they come back with another one. Possibly they, they come in with a family law issue and then there's a bankruptcy or, or God forbid, a criminal issue and uh, or a real estate issue that they need to deal with. And it's great to be able to walk them across the hall to my partner and have them sit down with somebody who knows that area and to get the service that they they need and deserve and the greatest part is I'm not sending them out to an unknown person I get to make sure that my clients cases are continue to be managed by the partner handling that case but more than that they get somebody with the expertise in that particular field to be able to really give them the service they need you really need to be prepared for making sure that your clients get the customer service that they deserve and that they need. And in many ways, you have to recognize as an attorney that the process of going through litigation or talking to an attorney is rarely a good thing. There are those few exceptions, but they are few and far between. And typically, this is going to be one of the larger expenses that a client is going to have and one of the more painful and scary aspects of their life. And you have to appreciate that they're in a situation that you may be comfortable with as an attorney, but it's very odd and very scary for them. And to make sure that you treat them in a way that, that recognizes that, you can do a lot of good uh, for them as clients by just realizing that this is, this is a scary thing for them. When family law clients come to me to discuss their case and hire me, I've always felt that I need to respect the fact that it is their case. And when it comes down to it, I have to advise them and make sure that they understand exactly what's going on. There's too often an opportunity to let emotions get involved. And although sometimes with child custody issues, that may be appropriate. When it comes down to money and finances, it really has to be a business decision that somebody is making. I like to tell my clients that I'm going to tell you what your best case scenario is and what your worst case scenario is. And after 14 years of doing this, I'm pretty close to telling you actually what's going to end up happening in court and letting you know how much that's going to end up costing. This allows you to make the business decision of whether or not you're going to push for that issue or back off on this issue based on the appropriateness of the financial aspects of it. And I think when we reduce family law and litigation in regards to finances to a business decision, it really serves your interest and make sure that you're not needlessly spending money just to spend money. Well, I've been very impressed with Sabrina and Jaime and their efforts and work that they've done. They are incredibly professional uh, and extremely concerned about their clients. They give you the level of service that I think is appropriate and necessary when making one of the major purchases or sales that anyone's going to make in their life. And I would be wholly uh, excited to refer any clients to them and any individuals who are in need of real estate sales.